people and welcome back to my channel. So you have no idea what my setup looks like right now, but seriously this has taken me the longest time to try and film this. Um, so basically today I was trying to steer away from the medical type videos, but um, kind of somebody kind of reminded me that I said I would do a video and I forgot that I hadn't filmed it. So basically today what I'm going to be doing is a hospital slash sick, like when you're sick hairstyles video um, this is something that I was actually going to film a long time ago and then it never happened I've tried filming this so many times today so sixth time, let's do it, let's let's make this work um, so I have left my hair unwashed for about five days now um, just because I want it to be more realistic to how your hair is in hospital um, Probably you guys will probably know um, a lot of you are chronically ill that follow my channel and um, follow my vlogging channel as well. Um, so you know that we spend long times in hospital and I thought this would be kind of like easy hairstyles that after you've done them a few times they're really quick, really easy, like these take five minutes or less for each one. Um, and most people know how to do these, if not I'm going to show you how to do them. And um, also some of these I can do by myself, well I can do all of them by myself, but if I'm really feeling unwell, Tom knows how to do them. It's not hard for other people to learn. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, what you are going to need is um, some bubbles. So I've just got these ones here, just plain black. Next, you're going to need some hair grips, like these things. And then you need a hairbrush. I've just got my tangle teaser. And then I've also got like a, I can't remember what you call these but it's got one of these things on the end that helps you like separate your hair and stuff like that and then these things I always carry with me in my hospital bag they're like little hair, like these things that go around and stuff like that and I totally look like a hippie from the 80s or something and then I've just got one of these like band black bandana things just for extra styling, I mean, you don't have to, this is just what I thought, what I carry around because um, I use them to tie my hair back the first one is the plain good old messy bun so the first thing I do for a messy bun is normally I'm just gonna kind of run my hands through my hair like this. I'm gonna get my tangle teeth and I'm just gonna back comb it just a little bit because this is gonna give you some volume, especially if you have thin hair. I'm gonna get your hair tie. And I'm just gonna kind of pull it all up first. I'm not gonna use my brush or anything because then I'm gonna lose the volume that I've just put into it. And you can leave bits out at the back here if you prefer. Then I'm just going to give it a twist, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing like that. And then I'm just going to half tightly kind of wrap it round. And then I'm going to put the hair tie around it. Okay, and then the next thing, it's all about styling it, like pulling bits out. You can get your little comb, just kind of brush those baby hairs. And then you can loosen the hair, you can pull out the bun until you kind of get the desired messy bun I guess so I'm gonna leave it like that and that is the basically the first hairstyle the messy bun okay so the next hairstyle that we're going to do is the half up half down I'm just gonna split my hair where I normally have it like my middle part in down the middle but then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find roughly half like that and then I'm gonna twist it just a little bit and then I'm gonna wrap it around you might have to just keep wrapping it and then again it's all about styling the back I can't really see what I'm doing this might be failing completely something like that so it's like half up half down You've got the front bits pulled out of the way so they're not falling down in your face and then you've still got kind of like a messy kind of whatever you call it at the back. Okay, so the next hairstyle is so, so simple. It's basically a ponytail. Simple, what are you going to need to do? This time I am going to use a um, brush to get the like smooth kind of hair. So put your head forward. And you're gonna try and bring everything up into a ponytail. So you're gonna try and keep it quite tight. Obviously, tying your hair like this is just so simple, but I'm just showing you the kind of hairstyles that I wear that I think look nice. 
I like to not have it as tight, so I like to make it tight and then pull my hair a bit, just to have it a bit looser, like so. And then again, I'm gonna get my brush and I'm gonna get all those baby hairs. I think I feel like it just frames your face just that little bit more. And that's it, basically. Okay guys, so the next hairstyle is a double dutch braid. So this is a hairstyle that I wear a lot in hospital, just because you can wear it for multiple days without having to take it out. And it's just so simple. Once you know how to, to braid, it is honestly so, so easy. It literally takes five minutes. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna part your hair in the middle if you don't already have a natural middle parting. So I'm just gonna tie back this side first, quite tight you don't want to get any hair from the other side. That's the side we're focusing on now. You can pick whether you want to braid on the side, so the braid would start here and go more of the side, or you can go in the top and start going all the way back. Now because I want to show you how to do it, I'm going to show you, I'm going to do it both ways. So you're going to start off with a section. I've got this bit here. It makes it easier for you guys to see because I've got layers so I can pull it out like this. Now, you're going to separate that into three and you're going to try and go as high up to your hair like that as possible and you're just going to do a quick plait like you normally plait your hair. One, two, three, just like a little bit like that. Now, you're going to start adding in hair now. So you're going to grab from the front and then I'm going to grab the underneath piece. Just as if you're plaiting but you're adding in hair. So now I'm going to pick some hair from the back Keep it tight though, and then plait, like you would normally plait your hair, but you're adding in pieces all the time. So add, and then you're gonna plait kind of thing. So then you get some more, and then just carry on like you would normally do a plait, but instead you're adding in hair each time. So it's pulling hair from the front, and then you plait in. I hope this is making sense. And then you go up from the back, and then plait like that. So you're basically doing a plait, but instead, before you go to plait your next bit, you add in more hair. So, add in more hair, plait, add in more hair, and do you plait. So you're just adding hair to the section that you have on your hand, and plait. And then, add in hair, plait. Now, this is all in real time, guys, so you can see how quick and easy it was. And then once you've run out of hair to add in, you just continue your plait all the way down. So that is the side way of doing it, as you can see, like that. So it goes more along the side, into the back, like that. We're going to do the exact same thing, so we're going to separate it into three. One, two, three. And then we're just going to do a quick, maybe like two or three little plaits. One, two. Just a couple times just to get like a starting point. So we're adding in hair and then plaiting. I'm gonna turn around and try and show you, but I can't promise you how good this is gonna be. Add in hair on this side. Try and keep it as tight as possible when you're doing this guys, it will really really help. So you're adding in hair and then plaiting. Adding in hair. And so on and so on and so on. And then when you get to the front, you can just basically continue the plait. As you guys can see, roughly, you can see the difference. So this side here is pulled back, um, and I could have probably pulled it a bit tighter here at the side, and this one is pulled more to the side, so it just depends on which you prefer. Personally, I prefer this side, I like it when it's pulled back, but I do wear it both ways. The side, double dutch, and then you've got this side, which is pulled back, so. So yeah, that is it for this hairstyle. So the next um, braid is gonna be the single braid that I talked about. You're gonna take the middle section here, and then I'm just gonna hold that up out the way for now. So we're gonna start off with doing the same thing, separating it into three sections. And then we're just gonna do like a little plait a couple times, just to get it started. And then we're basically gonna do what we did with the double dutch, except instead of two, we're set apart in the hair. We're just gonna 
do it as a single like you would. So I'm taking hair from both sides first. And I'm just going to start to plait. And then take hair. And plait. Take hair. Plait. And just basically carry it going. And then I'm actually gonna loosen everything I've just done, which is why I didn't do it as tight as what I do with Dutch. So I'm just gonna pull all of this now. And then I'm just gonna pull little bits out here. But yeah, that is basically a single braid or braid. I don't know how well you can actually see it, but I kind of hope you guys are getting the gist of what I'm doing. The next hairstyle is like another half up, half down one, um, but we're not going to be is using as much hair. So we're going to start off by roughly separating it. I'm not taking as much hair, like I said. So try and get all your little baby hairs from there if you can. And what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to be tying off the hair that we're not working with at the moment. So it's this section here at the back. Now we're going to bring these sections to the front. Now that we've got these front bits, we're going to separate it again into roughly two sections. Now what we're going to do is, really, really simple, we're just going to plait it. But what we're going to do when we plait it, because we're going to be tying up the hair, we want to plait it as if you were going to be have it tied up. So you don't want to be plaiting it straight down, you want to be plaiting it like, as if it was being tied back into a ponytail. So just normal plaits, let's separate them into three and come a bit closer and just plait away but pull it back as if you were plaiting your hair into a ponytail because that's basically essentially what we will be doing. Okay, this is where it's going to come together and you're not going to look so crazy, I promise. So you're going to untie your hair. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take these out, but hold the hair in your mouth or wherever so it's not going to unravel. Now you basically position these plaits where you would like them to go. Just going to pull it straight until it kind of meets. And then you're just going to tie it off basically. And then just leave the rest hanging down, but kind of smooth down. You can lift it up here and then smooth down any bits that you feel just so it sits nice and then you've got the two plaits I know it's hard to see but you've got the two bands of plaits on either side and obviously you could do more than just two you could do three or four it's completely up to you you could even do add in like a small bit here from the side so I'm just going to do another tiny plait so guys my camera shut off but I basically finish what I was saying so basically I just pulled an extra little bit back from either side um, and then I just tied that off so there's three plaits if you can see I'll show you okay, because I only have basically one more hairstyle for you guys and it's basically including what we've already done so it's the three plaits now instead of you're going to be basically just taking another hair tie. What we're going to do is going to start twisting at the back like this. I'm going to keep doing that all the way down. Like that. And I know it's going to look a bit messy at the thing, but when you pull it back it'll be okay. And then you're just going to basically kind of twist it into a bun until it becomes a half messy bun, I guess. And then you're just going to tie it off like that and just kind of let it hang like that. So that's basically really, really similar to what we've already done. And then as you can see, we've got a few other extra bits on this side. All you do is you can just lift up the hair tie and kind of tuck them in. So that's basically it. Okay, the next um, hairstyle that I have for you guys is so, so simple. It is the, sorry my hair's so messy. It's because I'm like putting it up, putting it down, putting it up, putting it down is a tight bun. So we're basically going to tie our hair into a ponytail first. And remember where you have your ponytail is where your bun is going to be roughly. So I'm just going to hold it because I want it to stay tight but pull your hair gently. Then I'm going to give it a twist. 
my thumb on the side so you can see what I'm doing. And then wrap it round, keeping it tight, twisting, and then wrap and pull it right under. And I'm going to take another hair tie. Or you could pin it if you've got grips like that. So it is literally a perfect tight bun. Then you could either spray it down with hairspray or I've got some hair grips here. So I'm going to get all these little baby hairs. Now I'm going to add a bandana just because I don't have any hairspray. Um, but like I said, if you do have greasy hair or anything like that, um, it's probably going to make it easier to slick back. Um, like when you get all your baby hairs, I'm going to take this. You can even wet your hair a little bit at the front. But I'm just going to pull them back like this. Um, I'm adding the bandana just for a little bit of extra style. And um, this is just a plain black one. You don't have to, this is just something I'm doing. And pull it up like that over your ears, like tight as possible. Or well, you don't want to tie it too tight because you might give yourself a bit of a headache. But I'm trying to get quite tight, just enough to pull everything back out of the way and then I'm going to tie it in a second knot and then you can adjust the little so that is it guys for this week's video I can't tell you how long it has taken me to be able to film this entire thing so many setbacks but we finally did it so I really hope you guys enjoyed this so if you did please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel we're almost at 2,000 subscribers that is crazy do subscribe to my vlog channel though because I do upload almost every single day on there and um, I vlog my life with chronic illness so if that's something you're interested in checking out then please go do it. Um, but yeah like I said these don't have to be just hospital hairstyles, they, they can be anything. They're such a wide variety of what I showed you guys today but these are just my go-to styles that I like, that I you know like to watch so like to watch, like to wear. Um, but yeah I really really hope you guys enjoyed them. Yeah, that's it guys. I will see everybody in my next video. See you.